the up to celebrate the new year and the release of the upcoming Sun and Moon set Ultra Prism. You guys already know it is time for a giveaway. To enter, all you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe with push notifications turned on. The prizes for this giveaway is decided by you guys. So if the winning video has 50 likes, the prize is a three pack blister. 150 likes is an elite trainer box. 300 likes is a booster box and 600 likes is one of everything. The winner will be selected from the comment section of any Pokemon card opening that I upload from New Year's Day to February 4th. So be sure to enter while you still can. Good luck everyone. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. This is the first Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box that I have on the channel. For those guys who have been watching the channel as of late, you guys would have seen that I picked up three of these in my latest installment of Deli Bird Delivery. And I'm so keen to crack into this one. Yesterday, I actually sorted out my set binder from the 100 packs of Shining Legends that I opened on the channel. Uh, so if you guys missed out on that opening, make sure you guys go check that one out. I'll leave a link in the video description. But basically, I sorted out what Ultra Rares that I, I have and what I don't have and my Reverse Hollows that I have and what I don't have. And um, to give you guys a quick recap of kind of what we're on the hunt when it comes to Ultra Rares from Shining Legends right now, is we're on the hunt for the Shining Jirachi. I did not hit a, a single Shining Jirachi out of 100 packs. Uh, Shining Rayquaza. Um, the two Mewtwo, the Secret Ray Mewtwo. I need all of the Full Arts. I need a, the Full Art Entei, Mewtwo, and Pokemon Breeder. And Hyper Rares, I just need the uh, Hyper Rare Raichu. Mewtwo and Zoroark and then I will have the complete set so out of a hundred packs you guys would think like for sure we would have completed the set but man we were we were way off we were way way off but uh so that's why we are here today with some more Shining Legends on the channel there's gonna be plenty more to come we've got the Zoroark box we've got like the the Zoroark pin boxes as well. We've got the Mewtwo boxes, Pikachu boxes, all to come on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys are not already and like to see these Shining Legends boost packs get open. We've got a lot to come on the channel. But with that said, let's have a quick look at this box and then we'll get straight into the opening. So you guys can see. <sighs> Excuse me. We got this beautiful looking ho on the front of the box here. Then we've got on the back here, it show you, shows you guys what is inside of this box. Feel free to pause and have a read of that. Um, but basically, I believe it gives you 10 packs. You get some energies, sleeves, deck dividers, the b standard book, GX counter, all that sort of stuff. But we'll see that all, all in, a, in a moment. But yeah, pretty standard, pretty cool looking box. Let's get cracking into this thing. You guys can see that it is completely sealed. Brand spanking new from Oz Game Shop actually I picked this one up from I was too slow to get into Wild's department store he sold out so quickly it was ridiculous ridiculous not even your boy here could even sneak a uh, Sh Shining Legends Elite trainer box they all sold ridiculously quickly but um let's have a look at what's going on here do we have the standard like uh yeah there we go the set list okay let's have a look at what is popping guys so there's my boy Entei uh there's the front of the set there then we've got Entei, we've got the Raichu there, you've got the Shining Volcanion. Uh, we got heaps of those Shining Volcanions, actually. We've got that awesome, awesome Mewtwo. We've got the Zoroark, the most playable card in the set from what I believe. What I believe right now. We've got the Shining Arceus there, and you guys will see just there. We need, so we need that Shining Jirachi there. We need that card right there, the Shining Rayquaza. And then on the back here, you guys will see everything else that we need. So we basically need this whole page, other than the Hyper Rare Entei, because I did actually manage to pull that one from a Pikachu pin box. But yeah, cool. These books are always so amazing. So yeah, it's definitely worth like picking one of these up, uh, for, even just for the uh, book. If you're a, a set collector, it, it makes it nice and easy for you. But uh, you guys can see on the inside of this here that there is a... Um, a design there it's one of each of the pack arts I'm not really gonna like peel that apart right now usually I would but I'm not going to today today but um it looks like we've got a bit of a different design on this box I haven't really like noticed this all too often but yeah it's got like a bit of a uh, a wave there there I've opened a lot of elite trainer boxes so any changes that they do is going to uh, appeal to me I guess you could say I've opened a lot of these elite trainer boxes but there is the gorgeous gorgeous looking sleeves We've got the, oh, the featured 
that featured Shining Ho-Oh promo. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Let me know your thoughts on that Shining Ho-Oh in the comment section below. That is gorgeous, guys. Oh my, I totally forgot that that was inside of this box. I totally forgot. That's that's a nice addition as well. So yeah, scoop that one up. I think that gets you like the sleeves and stuff on TCGO, but I've got plenty of sleeves and stuff going on over there. So you get classic energies, five of each energy inside of that one there. Um, and we should have 10 packs and oh no, one of the die, die has fallen out of the bag. I hate when that happens because it like, you see that little hole there? God damn it. God damn it, you're making my life so difficult. And now like my OCD says that th that must go back inside of there. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's awesome. The little Shining Legends set logo there. It looks like like Lugia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, guys. It lo kind of looks like Lugia is um, facing towards you. But there is uh, the deck dividers that comes inside of this box. It looks like these ones were a bit rough, like cut. They don't look as clean as what all the other ones that I have. Like these, these ones are kind of dodgy. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. From the back, they look okay. They, they look pretty clean. But then on, on the front here, they look kind of kind of gross. Like all that edge wear, that, gross. Kind of kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. But let's see. Do we have 10 packs? Do we in fact have 10 packs? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yes, we do. And two are flipped backwards, which is really kind of annoying me. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the tiniest things annoy me, guys. The tiniest littlest thing. So we do have like a bit of a different design here as well. Everything's kind of like all together. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that how it is because that's kind of cool. I like that. I like how it kind of just like props everything up nicely. Custom, custom Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box to come in the near future, guys. Custom Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. So with that said, the last thing we have inside of here is the GX marker. We get the poison, burn counters as well, which is all, all the standard stuff to just kind of get your foot off the ground when it comes to playing the competitive TCG. Uh, but with that said, let's get into these packs and see what we got. I don't know. We'll just go in this order. The, the order that they came in. Because I don't know what to expect right now. Um, let's knock this camera down one more notch, I think. I think that is that is the way we're going to play this game today. And see what we can do. Hopefully, we can hit one of the cards on our list. If we do, I'll be absolutely stoked. You guys already know. You guys already know. So let's go four and two, I believe it is. I believe it's the same as Sun and Moon. So, inside of the first pack today, we have a Voltorb, Golette, a Boizel, Scraggy, Croconaw, that, that Water Energy, oh, evolving into a Feraligator. We got the Ultra Ball, Pokemon Breeder, Reverse Holo Palkia, and just a Caldeo Holo Rare to kick things off today. So, nothing all too fancy. It's got 110 HP with Bailout and Resolute Blade. So, I'll throw that up the back there, of course. Of course, you guys already know, or the, for those guys who are new to Shining Legends, you are actually guaranteed a holo in every single boost pack. So, if you if you guys do not see me getting all too excited about <laughs> a holo, is because I already have, like, a lot of these holos already. I literally had a stack, like, this thick, guys, of leftover holos from this set. It was, it was literally insane, because of those 100 packs, we really didn't get as many ultra res as what I thought we would out of 100 packs it was kind of kind of weird to be honest uh, looking back and reviewing the pulls based on how many packs we open but we do have a damage mover reverse holo with a Latios holo rare 110 hp with breakthrough and Lag lagoon F flight sorry a little bit of a tongue twister there it's either that or i'm just still half asleep because i just woke up this morning and decided to just get straight into this thing like after sorting out the the shining legend set binder yesterday and finding out what i need to get and giving myself a goal to hit really just made me want to crack into this like elite trainer box as soon as possible but uh let's let's go like this i don't know i don't know what's done but we got a goal at we've got a Voltorb. the camera is kind of just flashing all weird stuff right now but <laughs> we've got a toric at a lightning energy energy retrieval Scrafty, Great Ball, Marshadow, Reverse Holo Rare, and a Shaman Holo Rare. 70 HP with Flippity Flap and Rally Back. Flippity Flap and Rally Back. Let's move on to the Shining Genesect boost pack. It's just such a shame that they didn't give um, uh, Mewtwo the shiny form. I want that green, greenish Mewtwo. I think it's green. I'm pretty sure it's green. 
Why, why didn't they do that? that? Why didn't they show Mewtwo that love? Why did they rip Mewtwo off in Shining Legends? But uh, let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite booster pack art from Shining Legends. Mine is definitely the, sh the shiny Rayquaza. I don't know. I, I just love I There's something about the, the black shinies that just really appeals to me. Oh, we've got a how, a switch, and just a hoopa, hoopa, hoopa. It's got 120 HP with the ability Scandal Ring, uh, Scandal Guard, sorry, and uh, Super Cybolt. So we have four from four on the hollows, hollows, with no ultra rares in sight, guys. No ultra rares in sight, but hopefully, we're, we've, this is like the calm before the storm where we hit something epic like the Tube Mewtwo or maybe like a Zorok Hyper Rare. Something of that nature, maybe a Shining Rayquaza. Come on, come on, we gotta hit the faves. They're like those cards there that I just mentioned. Out of the ones that I need to get, they're definitely the faves. We need that two Mewtwo for sure. We need the uh, the Shining Rayquaza and we need that Hyper Rare Zoroark as well. But we got a Floatzel there, we've got a Torque Hole, a Reverse Holo Common, and just a Palkia. Holo Rare, it's got 130 HP with Spiral Drain and Aqua Blade. We're getting a nice variety of hollows, I must say, like, at least we're not doubling up. We're kind of, like, getting destroyed right now when it comes to, like, not getting any ultra rares, but at the same time, you can't really be too, too disappointed with the, the variety. I, I can always uh, respect a little bit of variety from these sets, but let's go. When, when, um, opening packs, sorry, not from these sets. So inside of this pack, we have a Jinx, and I think I'm seeing a glimmer up the back, guys. I think I can see a glimmer. So let's see what is popping here, guys. We've got a Zorua, we've got a Psychic Energy, an Electrode, Spirit Tomb, Damage Mover, a Reverse Holo, Double Colorless Energy, and an Entei. GX, we got my boy here. Not, I, I totally thought, like, I just remembered. The tube Mewtwo is actually just a GX, and it looks like it's a GX. So I was kind of like, kind of losing, losing it for a moment there, guys. But we do have the Entei GX. It's got 180 HP with Combustion, Fire Fang, and Brave Burn GX. My boy, my boy, coming through and saving the day and breaking that uh, that Hollow Pull streak. So hopefully this is where things turn around, guys. Hopefully this is where things turn around, and we can continue to pull bangers from here on out, guys. This is where the tide turns. This is where the tide turns. So, we have a Jinx. Jinx, Jinx. We got a Pikachu. Ekans. Turricat. Breloom. Unlisted Leaf Energy. A Lily. Super Scoop Up. Sophocles. A Reverse Hollow Lightning Energy. And... No, we were so close. That was so close, guys. We have the regular... Mewtwo GX has got 190 HP with Full Burst, Super Absorption, and Psy Strike. GX. Oh, man, guys. We were so close. So close. We got a Mewtwo, but it wasn't the tube. Man, man. I saw the purple the purple glimmer just, like, show me, like start to shine as, as I revealed the card. And I was like, no. This is it. This is it, guys. But that, th there we go. So the streak has been broken. Can we continue... The good pulls for these last couple of packs, guys. These last five packs. Let's see what we can do. So we have a Minin, Quillfish, Zorua, Plusel, a Bulbasaur. We got the Metal Energy there. I totally forgot what it was. We got a Damage Mover, a Verizion, Reverse Holo Rare, and just a Marshadow Holo Rare. So continuing the variety of Holo pulls there, we can add this one to the Holo side. Of the pulls there, but yes, we, we're still continuing that variety of pulls. I haven't seen a, a double up yet. Now that I've said that, we're gonna get it, get a double up. But that is, uh, it's it's only a matter of time, guys. It is only a matter of time. But can we get something that I need for the set binder out of this elite trainer box today, guys? I know I, I've been, a, I've been alerted or like told that these elite trainer boxes are loaded with the ultra rare pulls or like even just the two Mewtwo's in general that a lot of them have I've heard stories of coming out of these elite trainer boxes so maybe there's still a chance we still have one more pack after this one well we even have a chance inside of this pack so let's see what's doing guys we've got a oh that was the reverse holo <laughs> the life hard and then we just got a holo evil toll gross 
gross but continuing the variety guys <laughs> like no joke we literally have not doubled up on a single hollow rare right now which is actually kind of wild kind of wild out of 10 packs like 10 packs where you guaranteed a hollow and there's not that many hollows inside of this set to not get a double is pretty impressive in my opinion pretty impressive but let's go we got our final pack here now that i've said that we're gonna hit a double on the final pack but that is it's only a matter of time i keep saying it's only a matter of time but we've got a pikachu a jinx shroomish a fire energy pokemon catcher double colorless energy lipard golurk which is just a reverse holo uncommon and to finish things off today we've got a Reshiram holo rare, which is another different holo. Like, I wonder how far we are off right now from getting one of every single holo from the set. Let's actually, like, have a quick look here, guys. Let's have a quick look at the player's guide. This, this may take a little bit of time, so if you guys have enjoyed today's opening, be sure to drop a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But we're going to have a little bit of an extension to today's episode here, and we're going to go through the book here and see what we have and what we don't have. Okay, so straight off the bat, I can tell you guys for a fact, we do have the Shaman Hollow. We don't have the Verizion, so that's one Hollow that we don't have from this Elite Trainer Box right now. Um, in this next page here, we do have the Reshiram Hollow, um, and that's it for that page. We do have the Palkia Hollow at the top there. We have, we don't have the Manaphy. We do have the Keldeo, so we're missing two Hollows right now. Two Hollows. We don't have the Raikou, that's three Hollows that we're missing. We don't have the Zekrom, that's four. So I, I'm, I'm going to kind of end it there. So it looks like we're still missing a lot, but like, man, we, we got a lot of a lot of variety from the set, from this this one Elite Trainer Box. So I'll, I'll have a quick recap, guys. We'll, we'll have a quick recap, and then we'll wrap things up for today's opening. So inside of this Elite Trainer Box, we scooped up the Evil Tile, the Marshadow, Palkia, Hoopa, a Shaman, Latios, Keldeo, a Reshiram, we got the Entei GX, my boy Entei, and then we got the Mewtwo GX as well. So close to getting that two Mewtwo today, you guys. So if you guys did enjoy today's Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box opening, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite Ultra Rare from Shining Legends. But with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.